questions are. So if you want to be a Wikipedian to start editing articles like that, even you know, like a whole article or just a subsection of that. We, so the five pillars are the main things about Wikipedia you should abide to or know about. It's an encyclopedia, no problem. Neutral, you know, try to be not subjective. Well, when you write about tree cricket or, or that persecaria, what does it mean neutral? It means, well, you need to be accurate and cite reliable authoritative sources. Buckeye is an authoritative source. Facebook is not social media. Don't 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 say I, I saw your know, Larry said something on this on, on Facebook or Twitter. Free. It's free, free, free. And, and if, uh, usually that logo here says you know Wikipedia does free encyclopedia. They mean it. Anyone can use, edit, and distribute, but in particular, it's a license free. Royalty free. Uh, you cannot assign a true copyright to your work. So if you are a professional photographer, you want to sell your, your high resolution photo for profit, don't do it here. All your photos are freely licensed. You have different degrees of license. Respect and uh, civility. Uh, we, no firm rules. These are just guidelines. So. Uh, Again, this is a bigger, uh, we don't need to go over everything. You need an account, learn the five pillars we just did. Be bold, but not reckless. That's, that's a good advice. Same thing applies to being iNaturalist. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Over there, your mistakes actually drive, add data to that uh, artificial intelligence database, but not reckless, right? Just don't make a wild guess. And, and don't infringe on copyright. So you're, when you upload stuff or when you write things, uh, you're giving Wikipedia license to use your stuff. So let's dive right into perhaps doing some add an image. Here's a naturalist, an observation, up long, what color B, Enthidium oblongatum. I have two, two images. So you can actually you know, have two images. The reason it's called what color B. Uh, is, I don't know if you can see this. It's collecting wool or this hair on the stem of this plant. Collecting hairs for nesting material. I don't know if you see that. So I think that's inter interesting behavior. Uh, this is uh, research grade, I believe. I just need one more person to agree with me that this is the Anthidium oblongatum. I think we have two species, both introduced, but, uh, but this is uh, research grade, so. Uh, And let's, so that's the uh, observation on the uh, I natural sky. Let's look at the Wikipedia page. I think I can add that image because here it just has an image. Can you see that? That looks like a preserved specimen from a, from a museum that can be improved. The only other image here is there's a caption that says copula looks like the copulating mating. Otherwise this is a very rudimentary skeleton of a, right, just have one sentence and then just the synonyms and not much. And uh, in fact, at the bottom it says, it's, this is a stuff, sometimes you say that, you see that, uh, it's not much. So I think we can improve on that. So I think I wanna add that, that image. So how do you do that? On the left, contribute, get a login. By the way, you don't need a login. Anybody can, see, when they say anybody can edit this page, you can edit and see what the code is. Not much code actually, that's it. But uh, anybody can edit, you can try this at home if you don't have a login, it will let you 
log in, uh, I mean, edit and make changes. <laughs> it's amazing. But I, I logged in as a user, so I'm gonna click on upload file. And this is important, upload to Wikipedia and uh, Wikimedia Commons rather than upload to Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is actually a very large universe of different what they call projects or namespaces. What's the difference between Commons and Wikipedia? Remember, freely licensed, usually your own, my own. Sometimes you, if you have want to upload non-free, I'll talk about that later to Wikipedia. This is a big source of confusion. Confusion. A lot of people don't know how to do this. For non-free, it's special. But this is Wikipedia Commons. I just do the, the, the usual thing. So I'm going to, I was at this uh, Wildlife Prairie Park. I don't know if you've been there it's near Aurora. So this, these are my images I upload to uh, iNaturalist. Actually, you can import directly from iNaturalist. There's a tool for doing that. But in this case, I want to show you how to upload from your own collection on your hard drive. So I'm going to upload it. You know, if you've done uploading for any of these uh, social media, this is my own work. You can actually upload somebody else's work, but that gets a little more complicated. And so you give an image title, that's the name of the, so that's a actually the name of my uh, file, so that's okay. And they want a caption and often I just use the same, I just copy and paste. You can, you can write a different caption to that if you like. Description, so the more detail on this Enthidium oblongatum, but in this case, maybe I'll say something like, uh, I'll give the common name as, again, so I'll try to copy and paste. Oblong, wool colored bee. Oh, I, did I accidentally open up some? I, up, I think I accidentally opened up these. I hit some control key there. But here I say, Wool, uh, wool color B and it's cutting wool. Cutting means collecting. That's why it's a, a wool color B. Cutting wool. It's a hairy stem. Peter, why and does it want that uh, hairy stem? For its nest. Its nest has to be hairy. I don't know. You you have to ask him. You know, why do some bumblebees collect? You know, spider silk. I don't know. You have to ask him. <laughs> Good question. But the date is there, location. It, this is optional, but you know. It's uh, not really wool. Well, they call it wool. It's woolly. Don't it's ask me why. I, I, I huh? It stems of a plant, hairs from a plant. Yeah, but if you say hairy, it's not hair. So I didn't, I didn't give it the common name. This is a common name. Well, it's, it's some sort of, it's a filament. It's yeah, you, you can say it's not wool, but what do you want to call it? Yeah. Hair? It's, something it's not hair, it's not keratin. It's Both a, wool and, and hairs. I mean, birds put a lot of different things in their nests, you know, sticks and feathers and, yeah, I, I understand the question. You know, it's not wool, but this is a common name. People people say that all the time. You know, uh, koala bear. It's not a bear. Don't don't argue with common names. They, they don't make sense. So the GPS, it will give you a nice where where this place was, wildlife prairie park, and other information category. So think of this again, like. Uh, Tags, hashtags, how people can find. You can you can use the species. Uh, often the species is good. People want to want to find this by species. So a species is a good category. For example, oh, I I copied. Oh, I was got. I was trying to copy this. Sorry, copy and paste. It doesn't have a category called, called upload, so I'll delete that. It was in red. 
Oh, it keeps, I can do that, oh, whatever. But something else, you know, I, I was at this, uh, I'll just type this, uh, see if it's such as wildlife, prairie park, maybe that's, oh, here, yeah. Prairie Park or Prairie State Park, what's a big difference, I don't care. But this is optional, it's just tagging. So I'll, I'll finish. And here, it took me a long time to say, what, did, what does it mean? It's asking you to depict, what is it doing? You're cutting wool, I don't know. Oh, I can just say it's Enthidium opening, you know, I didn't do it there. Let me see if I can copy that or type that in manually. Okay, a species of insect, this, that's good enough. This is optional, you don't have, just uh, other people can find this. I don't know why there's a depict and in uh, categories. So thanks for that. So you, to use a file in a wiki, so you can just copy, copy and paste this, this thing file you see this this whole thing you can uh, you can just can click if it's over it's gonna put that in your clipboard and where is my oh I think I I think I lost my uh, ad I'll go back to this. So hopefully I got that in my clip, so I'll do an edit. Now this is the Wikipedia markup code. You don't need to fully understand how this works, but some of this is self-explanatory taxa. In Enthidium obligatum, it needs to know what species this is, the image, was that you know the the the, the, the one from the uh, museum, and here's that popular image. Somebody has already put that in there. I'm going to add mine. Peter, there's a question in the chat okay. window. Okay. Um, well, first somebody asked if the why does it collect the hairs off this time? <laughs> I think we established that it lines its nest with that. And yeah. Why I understand? You you had to ask. You have to ask the bee, don't ask me. That may be here on other parts of the... So the other question uh, from uh, Paulus, Jill Paulus, uh, is, is the bee, is this bee rare? This is it bee? rare or is it pretty commonly found? It's, I, th I think it's fairly common, it's an introduced species. But introduced? I, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's common enough to be like uh, invasive. Okay. It's fairly well, common. And you found it, it many in the times. park. Um, and yeah. what kind of a plant was it collecting? Do you know? Oh, I don't remember. Okay. It's, it's probably uh, 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 ornamental. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, something with a hairy stem. Yeah, something with a, it's at this wildlife prairie park, but it's at a, at a, at a flower, flower bed. Probably uh, just cultivated. Okay. Yeah, if I took a picture of the plant, that, that probably would be uh, you know cultivated. But but if a bee is visiting that, it's fine. So I just copy and paste it. So it's almost the same thing, right? File this this file name. Thumb means it's a thumbnail. Left means it's on the left side. If you don't say left, I think it's default to right. And the last one, copula for for that, is just a caption. So I I just say. It's, I just say cutting. Okay. Well, thank you for answering that. I don't see any other questions up there right now. Is you know, I I, I have to. I should finish this. I, okay. I I'm trying to you know back backspace without destroying everything else. Cutting was so before you publish. Preview. So it, it rearranged that we uh, at a lay, little bit uh, lower, but that's okay. But here's my 
my follow, it says calling voice, the, the, the caption. So those, that's all I did. I just inserted that, right? I didn't do anything else. I changed the caption a little bit. The default caption is just my file name. Yeah, I'm not sure why this, he moved the, uh, the, that image to, to the bottom. I didn't really do anything. Maybe I'll try, try this in, instead of putting above that. You see what I'm doing? I'm just putting that below. Maybe that makes a difference. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll do a preview. Oh, now it's better. <laughs> it's back to the way it was. And mine is here, which is okay. Sometimes you may want to do like a gallery, so these are together here, but uh, for, for now, this is cool, right? Questions? I, 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 I think I said, said this is a minor edit. I didn't do much with it. And you can say a little note, uh, add image, whatever, of what you did. So other people, other editors can quickly know what you did. Publish, there, yeah. not hard. I just copy, you know, and pasted that one thing, one image I just uploaded to Wikipedia Commons. So I've been talking for about what, an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, do I, do I have the time to maybe just talk about the wild ones uh, page? Or are the people uh, ready to stop? Yeah, tell us about the wild ones page. Yeah, you, yeah I, you can do it. Wikipedia. You know, uh, yeah, we don't have time to create a whole new page, but. Well, that's something that is relevant to us that you put there. Yeah, so there. again, you can look at the history, what happened to this. I wrote it back in September, but then uh, maybe a couple of other people have made little, little edits to that. So among other things, I think the, the major thing is this has a logo, right? This is our logo. And most logos are copyrighted. That's why if you need to, uh, to like a logo and we, I don't think we have time unless people want to stick around. So like well, uh, I can, this I do Earth know Watch. Peter, that um, there are guidelines for using the Wild Ones logo. So, you know, um, in the, those of us um, who are board members have access to the chapter guidebook and it has all kinds of rules you have to use the right colors and the right style of print. Yes, I, I got this direct. Yeah, you know, yeah, yours is directly from the website. Yes. And, and in I have fact, some files on my computer that, you know, I have one that has our um, chapter name underneath. Yeah. So, it, so you know, I, this is pretty much the official one I got. Yeah. And it is copyrighted and from a lot of these organizations you know, whatever, United Nations, Red, Red Cross, their logos are copyrighted. Just and above uh, just above the S, I think there's a little symbol that- Yeah, registered trademark is there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Well, I can't, well, I, I know that's what it is, so I can't, you, well, can't make this, it out from here. Yeah, so with logos, often they downsize or make it a lower resolution. Well, one thing that has happened with our chapter is that somebody walked off with our signs. <laughs> so I had, you know, an emergency situation. I had to make another sign, which is not, it doesn't conform to all the regulations. So we- Well, I, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the official. Yeah. Right. And since I was a webmaster myself, <laughs> I, I got, <laughs> Do I have the permission oh. from my? Well, I, I shouldn't. I should ask for permission from the board, but I didn't because. No, no, no. You don't have to ask our permission. But when when we get 
Well, the, the, the national we have outdoor events, I'm, we're going to have to go have some new signs made because I guess we left them, you know, we thought somebody in our group took them home and nobody had them. So, well, let me just say, when I am, I wrote this. Yes. I'm not the ideal person to write this because you remember the rules. Uh, avoid, um, I, I mean, I have said this, avoid self-promotion, shameless or otherwise. But, you know, don't write about us. I shouldn't write about the wild ones, but if I don't, nobody else will. So well, you're, it's, it's information. But I'm saying, ideally, this should be written by a third party, but if we wait for that, I'll be dead before this, this happens. But I try to be neutral. Mm -hmm. So, you know, self-promotion is like saying wonderful things like, why well, I was, hey, we just had this wonderful Zoom meeting with this guy, Peter Chen. <laughs> it threw 35 people or whatever it is. You know, or if, if you're writing an article about three crickets, self-promotion saying, I'm the authority. I wrote two books on, on three crickets. Okay. Don't say that. On, uh, so it's, and self-promotion is also often these references. Well, often it's just come our own website. Don't quote from yourself. This is not for a place to quote from yourself. Try to get other people to talk about you. So I managed to find, you know, EPA has stored our uh, PDF, the handbook. That's a good, good site. Yeah. Citation. You know, Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame, it's kind of a, almost a system, but it's, it's a, you know, good, good reputable site. Uh, so, but some of these other ones are just from wild ones. And you can't really escape it. But sometimes you see a warning on top. It says you're using too many, you know, primary sources. You, you're quoting yourself. So. Well, so you know, can you give the reference, you know, in, in there? Did you give the web, you have the website. I see. Yeah. So, so often you say official website. They can go to the website. Oh yeah. So in many of these organizational pages, it has both a website and this organizational box and this external links. You put an official website, those kind of the, the standard. And you can put other things in there, environmental portals or other, other uh, Wikipedia pages uh, that uh, in this, Category, you have all categories and portals, and so you can throw those in your know, native press. So I found a few of these. Now, if you know of some other things that can go in there, let me know. Ecology organizations, so you just need to you know, look around. Yeah. So, Thank so you. I don't know. I think we're, we're kind of uh, <clears throat> really, you know. So if people want to stick around to see how to add a logo. That's different from, from that uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia comments. Maybe you can stick around, but maybe I can uh, take a last round of questions and wrap yeah, up for probably, most people. We should probably close at, up, at about 8.30. So now's your chance, people, if you have questions to ask or if you want to ask Peter to demonstrate something in specific. Yeah, I mean, Doing this ad logo does, doesn't take long, five minutes, but you, okay. if you want to stick around. Yeah, huh? go ahead. You want to go ahead? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. So uh, let's watch. See, no logo, mm -hmm. right? Maybe we can steal it from the official. Oh. I, I clicked on the website. That's their homepage. That's their local. I will, let's see, view image, just to make sure it's, it's a nice local. Yeah. 
SVG, that's perfect for local. It means a scalable vector graphic is the perfect. It's nice. How do I? Oh, maybe I just say page as. You want a copy image? Is that what? No, you want? I, I don't know. Uh, let me sit down. Maybe local dot SVG. That's good. So now I'm ready to upload file again. I should do this in a new tab. So instead of upload to Wikipedia Commons, locally to Wikipedia, non free. This is copyright. Mm. I really should have no business even downloading it, but I'm going to do them a favor. <laughs> Downloads. I just uh, I just installed my uh, Zoom app the other day. <laughs> Local.svg open. There it is. A clear descriptive name. Local for what is it? Earthwatch, right? Is that uh, is that the name of? Let's watch, okay. So this is gonna be the file name for, for, for that image, instead of local.svg. Oh, the, give me a warning. What? Seems very short. Uh, what else can I say about Earthwatch? I don't know. I don't know much about this organization. So <laughs> Maybe try without the spaces in the name. I don't know. Sometimes these warnings you can ignore, you know. Oh, it, it went away. I just ignore it. Please provide a brief description. I don't know. This logo. Will be used for the organization. You don't have to be that wordy, but uh, article. Something like that. Provide source, this is a free work? No, this is copyright important. I believe it is fair use or lots of warnings, right? So read through that. This file will be used in the following article. So it's gonna be the, the title of this article. It's called Earth Watch Institute, I'll copy. See what I'm doing? It says article okay, meaning it exists, so it's okay. Non free rationale, blah, blah, blah. You can do an you know, official cover, so you can do an album cover, for example, of uh, uh, music. But here I'm the logo of a company. Here's more stuff they want you to, to say. Source, I can just copy this earthwatch.org. So be careful, you know, and people will check, other editors will check that uh, this image will be shown as a primary means of visual identification. Yes, yes. Are you following me now, uh, so far? You said it must be minimal, blah, 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 blah. Don't use more, uh, more articles. Uh, say the same thing. Use uh, will be. This is part of redundant, right? Yes. Organization. 
energy, something like that. It's a little different from, from what I said before. But it gives, gives uh, other editors who, who will uh, scrutinize this and approve or this may possibly disapprove and maybe delete it if it's, if, if it's not, doesn't conform to these. So I think I'm, I'm ready. Uh, this is, and this other choice is not historic person. So, so I think I'm, Oh, did I miss something? Because it's it's not showing me a uh, oh, upload. I'm I'm missing something. So it's, I think those those couple buttons at the bottom. You have to say some other kind of non-free work. No, 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 no. No, I already chose this. This is a logo of an organization. So sometimes this thing is not very good. It doesn't know that I already special source. Optional. I agree that your buttons that below the box need to be checked. Hmm? The buttons below the box look to be. Oh, now they upload. So some, sometimes it just takes a while for this thing to. So this is the file. And. Uh, so I can just copy it. I, I don't need that whole thing. I think. Let's watch. Let's edit this baby. So this, oh, oh, says multiple issues. So <laughs> this article contains a written like advertisement. That's what I was saying before. It's, it's self-promotional. Too many primary sources quoting from itself. Uh, we, I'm going to ignore that. A lot of you know nonprofits are like this. So it does have that. Im Wait a minute, it has an image. I don't know where that image is, but maybe that's that's a, a, a bad image border. But uh, I think I, uh, what I want is a low. I'm pretty sure for, for locals, uh, for organizations. So at the top, it says info box organization. So there are different kinds of these things called info boxes. I'm going to include that. So I don't really need these uh, square, square brackets. Probably not even the file thing, so I'm just going to delete that. Oh, this image, it says HTTPS. I, I don't think that's, that's not right. That's wrong. Actually, maybe what I think, that's, a, that's remember this local to SVG? They made a mistake. It should have been this, but I uploaded already, so let's see what happens. That editor made a mistake, never knew it. Show preview. Ta-da! <laughs> this is a very long article. This, this is a local. So if I'm really picky, if I'm mean, I'll, I'll, I'll delete that image. I think it's... This person who, who added this does not know that you cannot do HTTP, you know, that this doesn't work. Okay. This works. So, well, you see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You can, before I move, you can put both a logo and an image. The logo is by definition the, the logo, but you can have an image like the front door or something. Ah. So let me publish questions. Well, I just say add local. I would not say this is a minor because local is a big thing in my opinion. Question, yeah. Let's uh, watch. I, if anybody else has questions, I, 
I was just going to talk about what we're doing for our next meeting since I, nobody's coming up with questions right now. And we, it's 8.30. So, you know, usually um, if we're in a meeting room and, the, you know, we go for for an hour, hour and a half, and then we have a little social time at the end. Um, and we're, if we're renting a space, we have a time we need to get out, you know. So we're kind of used to the format of an hour and a half is about the length of our meetings. I, I know it, what I've gleaned from, I'm curious about this, if I have the patience to post things on, on the iNaturalist, it's pretty interesting. And yeah, that's that's my whole point. Is I encourage this mass participation, right? This crossroads it needs people. Yeah. Lots of articles are remain. By the way, even if you if you uh, let me see, even if you uh, don't don't take photos, you can be an identifier. Yeah, you can use it as a resource or and no, also even answer. if you don't take photographs. Yeah. So this 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 uses John Asher, he's a authority on bees, hymenoptera in general. He has no observations, zero. <laughs> he doesn't take any photos, but he has a, like half a million identification. Oh, this wow. guy is prolific. Yeah. Well, he's on yeah. bug guide all the time. He's on Facebook, various groups insect yeah. groups. I know his uh, name well. I I have taken a few insect photos last last summer. Don't uh, be shy. Like Wikipedia but, says, be bold. I use I use uh, be bold. Yeah, be bold. <laughs> <laughs> Not reckless. This sounds like a soap opera, but yeah. That's kind of I like that. Be bold but not reckless. Yeah. Right. Is that isn't that a soap opera? Like it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so um Yeah, you you don't need to be a photographer at all. Well I would I have a very a, I have an, a camera that it doesn't have a big zoom lens or anything, so it doesn't take a cell phone you know, camera is fine for cell like, phone take camera it for for like Flux. I I bought this. I bought a cell phone that fits in my pocket. I'm a small person, and I don't like to have a phone that's like a pancake griddle, you know. So, <laughs> therefore, I said. By the way, you know, if you if, if you save the, the that uh, metadata. Yeah, I it, it, it shows. Enough. I take a lot of pictures with it. It shows you what kind of camera I had. It's Olympus okay. EM1 Mark III. Yeah. You know, the uh, the shutter speed, exposure, and everything. Oh. And GPS. Actually, my camera doesn't do GPS because it says GPS ver version, nothing. I added that manually myself. OK. <laughs> but you don't, yeah, you can use, if you use a cell phone camera, a GPS is there. I, I can take pretty good cell phone camera. Uh, yeah, pictures, yeah. But I don't get the amount of detail on like insects that I would. But this like. flocks you you don't need you know. Yeah, well, it, Peter. So, yeah. So in that picture, the flower is captive because it's at the arboretum, but the bee would be wild. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank Do you. Do I have the the original? Is that a yeah, it's research grade. Okay, but the bee yeah. the bee's wild, obviously, because it can go anywhere. Is that how you would mark it down? Yes, even even if it's an introduced species, this is this is not it's a native species. But if you have one of those uh, wool collar bees, which is uh, introduced, but it's a wild. It's not raised in a cage. Not a honeybee in a in a hive. Well, a honeybee. Honey if you see that on, on a flower, it's wild. Oh. If it's in one of those uh, man-made, you know, yeah, hive. Those, you know. Th so those boxes. when it's in its box, it's 
It's if if you take yeah. a photo of, of a pupae from a box, that may be, you know, there's no strict guidelines. Uh, if you take a, the, those pupae from from okay. a box, I would probably call that cultivated. Yeah, but when you see a bee flying around in your garden, you don't know where it came from. It could be. Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Because if you're really strict about it, we live in a highly disturbed environment, DuPage County. True. Even if you True. go into uh, the forest preserve or even the Schulenberg Prairie, yeah. everything there is planted. I have taken lots of photos at the Schulenberg Prairie, the, Kerr, the, the Russell Kerr Prairie at the College of DuPage, everything there is planted. That's true. But, well, I'm, I mean, other... But, but I did not mark them as cultivated. That's fine. People do this all the time. Right. We live in Chicago. Let's let's Chicago land. Let's let's face it. Well, we're trying to cultivate yeah. natives in our group, so this, you know. so that that you know the cultivated take you know just don't your cat or maybe even your your home prairie. Right. That's where I take most of my pictures because probably I the insects are fine. I wouldn't post you know. You can post, but, but mark them as cultivated because you planted them yourself carefully. Right, right. Yeah. But the Schulenberg Prairie, it's also planted, but, but you know. So, yes, it is planted. Yeah, so, so make your own best judgment. That's, we're all volunteers. I mean, it, it wasn't always there when, it, what is it like? 40, 50 years ago, it was. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it was naturalized by now, but, but it was still a, a lot field. of weeding, you know. Yeah. Highly, highly uh, cultivated, in my opinion. Even the forest preserves, many of the trees are highly managed, but it's well, okay. We kind I, of I have, we're, we're In my of... opinion, forest preserve is okay. So next month, I want to remind people, if you're interested in starting your plants from seeds, we're going to have Jan Greikus, who is a member of our, our chapter, is going to give a 